well. But they have to be careful because Fnatic Arnic still have uh, a lot more damage so far when it comes to just instant burst with that Valentina and Roger. Okay, Fnatic Arnic. I heard a Herith ban, all right? I don't know if it was Fnatic Onik or if it's Rebellion, but I think it should be Fnatic Onik that banned it because it was, you know, the High Loss or the Grok. Yeah. Was, okay, there you go. The Herith ban Herith. Uh, from Fnatic Onik. So maybe actually trying to signal that they have already gotten a gold lane pick, right? They might want to narrow down on some of uh, the other gold lane picks here, like the Herith, maybe even getting rid of the Moscow next to put Matt on a hero that he might not be comfortable with. Maybe the Moskov is one of his comforts because it was picked up very early in the draft round. Might not have all the injustice in the world. Cho just taken away. It's one of the strong wheelhouses of T-Boy. And yeah, the Moskov narrowing down the choices for Matt to play. I mean, yeah, that Moskov in the first game was at least seen as the ray of hope, the ray of light for Rebellion Esports to crawl out of that. Blue mm -hmm. hole that Fnatic Onyx does have, putting them down in that limbo. But this time around, Rebellion Esports, what they pick up? I mean, the Claude would, would still be good, I guess? If they want to go for just big on team fight, they need more crowd control. If they want to go for the Claude first, again, they need something to kind of lock people in place to try and go yeah. for the Blazing Duet, because otherwise it's going to get stopped by the Arlot almost immediately, uh, presumably here. here. Gonna be Break one. All the rules. It's a carry, carry very early on, so they're still doubling down on this pickoff style here with a carry in Hayabusa. Single target damage is off the charts. But can they go for the kind of pickoff when, if right here, Fnatic Onyx goes for something, let's say, uh, like a Minotaur, you know, that can kind of zone everyone away and force them to back off from the initial jump and attempt. If they do so, then it's gonna be all ATZ stuck in the front all over again. Now to just disintegrate the players of Rebellion Esports. Fnatic Onik can just look for a heavy CC composition again. Mm -hmm. A rewind of game number one, but again, I'm not a fan of the coup fries, a solo initiator, solo engager. Exactly. So, I mean, like, yeah, it's, it, it can function as a tank, but it, it, it can't really outstand or rather withstand the damage coming in from oh, Fnatic Onik, especially boy. now they have the Julian, they have the Roger and the Valentina, so. Rebellion Esports, they need something that can enable this Kufra. Yeah, it should be the Terizla if they really just want to look for a way to engage. The Edith could also work out. I think both options are pretty okay. I think the Paquito. Oh, if they go for the Paquito again, the this Kufra so will risky. be the sole initiator. And yeah. I don't know about that. You know, up against this composition, the, the Kufra doesn't do well against the Minotaur. You jump in, Minions Fury, and then... Uh, you're, if, you, if your team decides to follow up on that initiation, everyone's going to be flying. Exactly. Minotaur Airlines <laughs> back in business like we saw in... Uh, it's by Fnatic Onyx as well, the four-man knock-up, I, I believe, in day number one. Final pick here for Rebellion. Is it going to be more crowd control? It is going to be tankiness and crowd control. They're trying to outlast the members of Fnatic Onyx. They have the Terizla, they have the Zask, they have the invulnerability of the Hayabusa. They have ways to kind of stay in the fight. But I think they really lack ways to protect the carry. That is the main concern right here. Against a Julian, against an Arlet, Valentina, Roger. There's so many ways to jump in. And in the mid game, and even in the late game, if the carry gets taken out, they severely lack damage. We've seen what it's like when the Zask tries to be the sole carry and lift everyone up. We've seen the Hayabusa try to solo carry against four members. It just does not work. So carrying the gold lane here for the Settle Rebellion will be absolutely critical. And ensuring their victory and their success in the mid to late game. And for Fnatic Onik, and rounding up with such a good draft for Rebellion Esports, at least they have that initiator for them in the hands of the Terizla, but we will see as we march back in the line of dawn. Will the Blue Bulls once again strike a wall? Or will the Sky Kings end this in a 2-0? Oh. Back to the game, Rebellion Esports against Fnatic Onik. Welcome Let's see how they get the job legend. done this time. Albert is an, on an actual assassin on the Julian. And Cars is back on the enabler, the Terizla. So this time I would say the Hayabusa should have a better time with the Terizla helping him. So to be honest, while Mirko mentioned that Julian is kind of like an assassin, I actually speak to KB. And KB kind of agrees that Julian is much more of a fighter compared to an assassin. Yes, he does have the burst, but in smaller details, Julian can be so tanky in the sense that he has more health so and a constant source of damage as well. So yeah, again, this Julian will be very much of a, of a menace for Rebellion Esports. 
I mean, that's the versatility that we're saying could be a problem if Shlans gets jumped on. Whoa, Ryota! Red Reed with the quad shadow there, waiting for the flicker. Sans gonna be taken very low. Oh, Audi CS bouncing ball! Lock to Sans, his corpse. Albert will be able to find a oh. trade here with the enhanced side. And in the end, that actually does favor Fnatic Onyx. Albert was able to take the kill, and it was Kupra. Matt, he's gotta run away. Albert, oh, that damage what? is ridiculous. Shadow kill though, on the CW. Albert left him, and the shadow kill was transferred over to the Roger. If we could have maybe brought it back to that one minion, but it wasn't allowed. Now we're seeing a bit more of a competitive match. Let's look at the emblems by Gamesmax here. Audi with a full firmness tenacity combo. He were getting jumped on though. Ooh, the shadow kill. Oh, it's gonna he, be okay. He went with vitality and tenacity here, so more HP, but less resistances. But he does not go for the greedy build with the inspire that we've seen some people go for. That makes you way too too squishy. And considering that Lutpi over here might be the secondary engage tool, it's on the shoulders of Keyboy to be the main front line to walk around. But against the Zask, having that uh, the roar, the healing from the Minotaur is going to be such a valuable tool. Look at Cars though. On the Terrisla, he has more chances to make plays happen in game two right here. And with the level four, I think it might really favor Rebellion right here, depending on how this plays out. Fnatic Audit will have to try and go for some kind of pickoff before the fight even begins. Let's see already Cars. There, Lutpi. Get ready to jump in now, get stunned up by the Dominus to set Ryota with a shadow kill into the back. Lutpi's able to flicker out the safety of penalty zone stolen away by Sans. Another penalty zone, Cars. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did he get stunned mid air before he used it? Because the penalty zone was cancelled somehow. The Cars thought it went through. So he did just flicker. That means he still has a penalty zone. We'll use it onto Sans. It works out at the end. Great revenge. A clap down. And now the Fury will give Audi a good. Right there, like a carnival ride. Sans able to dish out damage to pick off cars in the bottom side of the map, but RBL, I think they come out on top. Albert, with the lead though. Oh! Oh! Hate okay, to see it. Audi is flying by. Wow. <laughs> Happy feet from oh. Albert right there. Cha-cha shoes left and right. As Albert goes for the purple, though, Ryota makes a play. Again, onto Albert this time. That's a shadow kill. Onto the purple buff to steal it away. <laughs> oh, Barabob. Bar, not getting his purple. That's Grand Theft Purple, as Leo would say. <laughs> he didn't go for the retribution, though. So Albert just missed it, I guess. And that's, that's a great move from Ryota there to get an advantage. So far, you're seeing Audi being a lot more aggressive here with this Kufra. Despite the fact that, in theory, like you guys were uh, talking about realizing Mirko, they, there's just not a lot more other ways to kind of threaten the members of Fnatic Onyx. It really is just this Kufa from the bushes. Yeah, indeed. And this time around, uh, I feel like Ryota does have that kill potential so much so that he's so free to roam around and just snipe on the players of Fnatic Onyx. The Blue Bulls will have to wait uh, for their path to glory because we have a pause coming around. We're very, sorry, so hey, very hey. sorry for this. Calm down, ladies and gentlemen. Please be patient with us. Yeah. You know, it seems like we are suffering some technical issues here. Technical issues. Are we suffering? Or are we enjoying? We're suffering from success. <laughs> suffering from success. Exactly. Is technical issue an, a success? No. But the fact that you need to suffer to get to success. Exactly. But what if it is a success? Don, thank you for the wait and the pause. Whoa, but whoa, we have whoa, a fight whoa. going up. I don't think it's going to be any much of a harmful descent towards CW. is going to be fine and dandy, especially when a Roger is in the lane. You're going to play safely Sans under the kill threat of Ryota. But Ryota has been so proactive, bro. Absolutely. And usually if you're an assassin against a Valentina, it gets a bit difficult because you have two dashes. It's hard to get close. But with the shadow kill, it's a whole different story as Lutpi walks in, spots him. Oh, oh. nice try to steal. Audi, trying to prevent the rage now, coming down with penalties. Oh, Audi oh. locked down into the sun as well. Shadow kill all on top of them. Cars will swing the hammer. Fly, Lutpi, final slash, fighting Ryota in the back. No follow up right now, but Sans comes in. Dominator is the set though. Stuns him up. Moving forward, that is a two for two. But Fnatic Onyx walk away with a neutral objective. And they're able to actually get a kill onto the jungler, which for, for an assassin, it's always a tough situation to be in. They were sacrificing their roamer and EXP for the, for the jungle and EXP. So Audi made it out of there alive. So he's able to try once more, setting up for a play in the mid lane right here. But with Keyboy walking in, it's gonna be a bit too difficult. But look at the damage, man. The nightmare respawn is just zapping with a glowing one already in the inventory for Suelo. Yeah. You can see that Matt is actually still just oppressing that lane though. We've said this again and again, but the carry is surprisingly, surprisingly difficult to deal with in the lane. Keyboy, 
Oh, I don't know if you want to go off the Keyboy there. He has a lot of HP and Audi can't take the same amount of damage. There's a question mark from Keyboy there. Go, Yoda. Yoda. Coming in, Shadow Kill over to Sans. Has a Sax over and now brings him over to Keyboy. This might oh. be a double. But Sans walks away. Keyboy, the sacrificial bull, Max. Solo killed up top by Roger Roger. Albert walking forward now. He has the enhanced sword, but Nightmare expawned. Little Johnny Ryota? says no. Ryota tries to go for an assassination on Roger. Baldwin, though, says no as he holds his hand up. <laughs> Silence, he Silence. says. I'm going to recall. But man, that was a great quote unquote bait, bait and switch right there. Wait, never mind. Luffy gets jumped on. Hammer down onto Luffy. Oh, Luffy goes for the vengeance and Luffy? the Wait, no, Luffy! Oh, wow! What did that play from Luffy? <laughs> Makes it equal on the board. Sway low traded for a 0 2 Arla. That is worth it. Goodness. Insane plays from Luffy, man. He was a rookie last season, no longer. The experience definitely shows. In that split second, finding a play like that. Wow, and all the easy tries to return to save it. Uh -huh. yeah. Now Jim Frank cancel out the shadow kill, but now Keyboy tries to go for it in his fury. Audi flickers and blinks out of the way. Fight stun stop left and right. And this time around, Fnatic Onik will take a breather to re-engage on the turtle. Though Keyboy under heat. Albert putting out the red tree battle. Oh! Again, fighting Sway low. Most of the dominators are set. That was Audi CS gets pinned down to the ground. It's a solo dominator to set against three members who are standing on top of it. How are you gonna get out, Sway Low? You can't! That's a trade though. He still finds a kill with the Nightmaric Spawn. And it's gonna be Minotaur again. The sacrificial pull. You're seeing Rebellion. Athena wants to be so aggressive. Forced again and again to flicker backwards just because of the Minion and Fury. The trades are coming through though. Usually the Minotaur as, a, as the main farm line doesn't work. But with Lutpi being so dynamic, so aggressive, and finding ways to catch Rebellion after they have used everything to try and seal the deal on Keyboy, it's just working out in Fnatic on a favor. In the neutral objective game, they're also holding a massive lead. Rebellion are just stuck here. They have no idea what to do. Seems like Fnatic on is also so good. And just holding on the pressure and stem the bleeding that they had been given to by Rebellion Esports in the first few minutes. Now they're eyeing. Matt under this turret, there could be a dive, but Rebellion quick on the respawn. Uh oh, out here. Oh, I don't know about that. He jumped over to his demise there. Unable to find anyone. Still wanted to go in. Dominator is a set. Good damage on the CW. That's him in his fury. And Swilo will still be able to escape. Matt does doing a bit of damage there. Oh, he's getting stunned. He does have the. He stole the DD. Cars is walking over. Keyboy giving information over to the rest of the team. And Fnatic Onic decide, okay, that's enough. In the mid lane, Ryota just gets completely bullied, oh, wow. backed off already. Yeah. Sans might be trying to go for a bait play right here, having the damage to send, but look at Albert. He's been great, by the way, the selection. Earlier on, when Keyboy was getting jumped on, he could have gone for the enhanced sight to go for the trade immediately, mm -hmm. but he knew that backup was on the way, so he went with the enhanced chain and bought enough time. The small details here is what matters, and with the turret falling on the top side, Onik are gonna swing towards the bottom side and go for control over this Lord. Lord. Now on the prio of Rebellion Esports, oh. Fnatic Onik, they're on the opposite side of the map. Looking to make a cross map, but for Ludwig to just jump into the brush, he could make a play of himself. This time around, they have the final slash! Isolating cars, no one there to engage Suns. <laughs> With the stolen Dominator's descent there, tries to go for a pick, but cars will be able to flicker out to safety. Bottom lane shoved in, CW. <laughs> Gonna be there, you can see the Big Johnny versus the little Nightmaric spawn. Little skirmish. Mm -hmm. Oh, fine. Oh, oh. Stars are in the raid. Actually, gonna be used up onto Luffy now. Matt actually dealing so much damage. Final slash from Luffy. That brings Matt all the way back to the rest of the members. Now, good Albert. shadow kill over to Albert. Getting a shutdown down. Ryota able to quad shadow back away with a double kill. CW cannot deal enough damage to get rid of them. Oh, the sap. The burn. It won't take CW down, but it is good enough to zone them away. RBL are back to level on the board. The Blue Bulls ram back. They're still fine now. The Lord will be in their eyes. Seems like Fnatic Onik, they want to let this go, Arashi. How can they contest? They have two members down. Albert and Keyboy falling in that fight. The fact that the Shadow Kill really kind of all got all output onto Albert there, even though he was grouping up with his teammates, that was definitely unfortunate. What's more unfortunate is that that wave they pushed up on the top side never really got to crash. It just built up right in front of the turret for Rebellion. And you saw that earlier, that was Matt just 
catching all, catching all the gold, all of that resource, as opposed to Onyx, that are going to uh, allow some of the Tars to fall right here with the Lord pressure being too much to handle. They have to be careful with who they send in the front, man. We see now that it seems like Keyboy is the one that has to take the brunt, the brunt of the damage so that Ludwig can be a lot more active around. He has a more aggressive role right here. Look at that. Audi! What a play! A Tyrus Revenge to catch Sans. And he wasn't able to react to that one. Ryota with a shadow kill on the bottom side of the map. Has a quad shadow to jump away, and he does. Beta Fnatic, Onyx are all clump up together with CW as the Lord is still in the bottom lane without Sans. I don't know if they have enough clear. Now they charge him again. Now with the target event, even find Lepi. Penalty zone cars! Fighting for Lepi to miss it all. Jumping in. Immortality already popped earlier from all these CS. Keyboy's gonna lose his life as cars keep swinging the hammer down. But it's insane in the base turn. Oh, CW doesn't get the kill on cars. He's able to walk away just fine and Rebellion crack the base open with the first Lord. Oh, he has been so magical with the movements. With the Kufra, just looking for the engages and setting up his team for success. This rename feels like it has been able to give him that magical touch on the initiations. Let's look at the replay here by our official tournament smartphone, Samsung Galaxy S24 series. Audi going in, cars pulling up. You saw the Keyboy tries to go for that minion fury deny, and it works for a bit, but the amount of damage available, the tanking that's available for the side of Rebellion allows them to just keep going at it. Right now, their issue is Matt. The fact that this carry is just free hitting every single time, they can't really match the damage output. They can maybe deal with Suelos, they can deal with Ryotas as well to a degree, but if they allow the Matt to free hit, it's just too difficult, and they don't have a, an ultra tanky tank to be the front line. It's either a Minotaur or the Arlet, and both can melt significantly faster to the carry. Yeah, you would argue that the carry as well would very it would be very hard for her to maneuver on the team fights and blitz around, especially when they have a Roger, a Julian that could just jump into her, and and Ludpi as well that has been so on point with the final slashes, but so far Matt. Just touching out the damage given and needed for Rebellion Esports. But now the items, Arashi, what does this say? Looking at the items here, I guess you can see that Matt is on the way to the last item right here. Even though he's really not lo not winning in gold to, uh, to CW. CW went for the Great Dragon Spear. It's a lot more utility-based. He does not have the Thunderbolt, so he won't be as tanky. And he's not exactly doing that basic attack shred in the DPS build either. He might be going for a Sky Piercer here to go with the uh, Executes, but Audi charges up, goes on Lupi. Over on the Lupi now, Keyboy finding Minus Fury, able to stun two members, knocking him up, but Dominus is still out of cars! Oh! With the penalty zone to lock him down, the Shadow Kill from Ryota is massive! And it finds two on the board! That's a double-double! Audi CS traded in, Albert versus the world. It's a 4v1. Albert, can he pull it off? No! The magical moment that he did against Alter Ego back when he was in RRQ cannot happen now. RPL equalized one to one. The blue bulls, they ran back this time. Their horns sharp. The Sky Kings, their celebrations delayed. What a showing from Rebellion Esports. They take and equalize the series 1-1. One, one. Oh man. Will history repeat itself? Will Rebellion find a way to topple Fnatic Onyx from their dominant seat in the top of the standings? Only time will tell, man. It's now an equal 1-2-1. One, one. The fight.